Right. We're going to finalize the canjo today. So we're going to make our string, hook it on, tune it, number of frets, and start playing some stuff. So what you're going to need, you're going to need three feet of whatever wire you choose. We're going to use 0.011 inch diameter wire. You're going to need a crimp. We're going to use some leader sleeves as our crimp. Um, you're going to need a crimping tool. You're going to need your iPad to tune it with. You're also going to need a pencil to label your frets. Um, you're going to want to file in some sandpaper maybe to soften up some edges or maybe some of these um, frets are hanging off the end. We'll grind those off. And then you're going to need a quarter inch nut driver to kind of put that string on the end. All right, so let's start with the file. So the first thing you're going to want to do is feel for any of these frets that are a little too long. If they're a little too long, just shave them off. Okay. If there's any spots on the wood that are a little rough, sand them off. Okay. All right. First thing we'll do is we're going to make the string. So the first thing we need to do is create a loop on the end so that we can put the screw in the bottom of our can. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that leader sleeve, you're going to put that string through the leader sleeve one time. Okay. You're going to make a loop and send it back through that leader sleeve. Okay. So now you have a loop. You're going to have a little bit hanging out of that loop here. That's good. That's what we want. You can even bend that up a little bit just to make sure it stays that way. All right. Next, you're going to want to pull it back so that that loop gets a little bit smaller. Not too small, just small enough so that screw that you're going to use is going to fit right through there. So I make it just a touch smaller. Once you got it the size you want, you're going to use your crimp tool. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go through and just crimp and use the end of this to just crimp it. And crimp it in about three places on that crimp. Use enough pressure to smush it down nice. And then we're going to use one of these other crimp spots and we're going to smush it down just a little bit more using that. Okay. Once you have it smushed down enough, you can go back a little bit, do a couple of those again. All right. It should be good. This is also going to help you. So bend that little loop back. So this is what your loop looks like in the end. We'll put the screw through the loop and run it next. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to unscrew this piece, put the screw through our loop, send the other end of the string through the hole, and then put the screw back on. We originally put this screw on here just so that it would be already pre-tapped. So you'll have to first take it off. Once you have it taken off, you can put your loop on. Some of you might find you can actually put the loop over the top of the screw. Others might find that it's just big enough to do that. So your first step, Get it snug on there. Don't tighten it all the way down at first. Just tighten enough so it's on there. Then you're going to run your string through the hole. Okay, so I left it a little loose so it can rotate around. I'm going to go all the way to the other end of the string. I'm going to send that through the hole in the can. Okay. Pull it all the way through. Try not to kink that string. Once you have it where you want it, just hold it snug and finish screwing down that screw. All right. Once you have it tightened all the way down, we're going to go to the other end of the canjo. Here is our tuner. So what we're going to do is we're going to thread that through the tuner. Now we want to thread it through so when we start tuning it, when we start tightening it, it's going to be on this side. Okay. So I'm going to start rotating this. I want to make sure I rotate it the right way now. Oh, that's the wrong way. So I'm going to rotate it so it's going to turn it with it. And as I turn it, it will tighten up that string. Okay. Still too loose. Keep tightening. Getting better. All right. Once you feel like you have it tight enough, we're ready to try and tune it. So we will have a little extra string. We'll cut that off afterwards. What we want to make sure of is that we've wrapped it around enough times when we've tuned it so that it doesn't loosen. Okay. So what we're going to do is you can use this first screen that pops up on the guitar tuner app and it'll tell you the frequency right there. 
So I'm at about 244. I'm supposed to be at 261. The other option is you can press this A4 key and it'll bring it over here, which will give you a little more to kind of help you tune it to where it's supposed to be. Looks good to me. So now that we have our Kanjo tuned, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is just trim off that string. So I'm gonna trim off it right here just for now. All right, once we cut that off, we're it's ready to play. What we're gonna wanna do first is we're gonna take our pencil and we're gonna wanna number these. So our songs are set up by numbers. So this would be a zero. If I held on this fret, it'd be a one. So I'm gonna hold the Kanjo like this. So I'm gonna wanna be able to see those numbers. So I'm gonna number mine right here. <laughs> one, two, three, and so on. Nine, and then 10. So I've now numbered them all. I'm now ready to play a song. My Kanjo is tuned. I have my numbers to help me identify stuff. If you'd like, we do have picks, so you can make grab a pick. Um, otherwise, you can just play with your fingers. So you're gonna play right down here. And when you play, you're gonna wanna put your finger right next to the fret you want it to play. And you're ready to go. Yeah.